Hello everyone and welcome back on my channel. I'm sorry about the lighting, it is getting dark early because we are still in winter but I hope you can survive with the natural lighting I have. Today I want to talk about anti-natalism. So I want to talk about this today because I think it ties really good into us child free by choice people. It's a thing that is nice to know about and maybe you like it, maybe you dislike it, maybe you can see some good in it and some bad in it. And having a nuanced standpoint in life is always great. So I'm coming at this topic with a nuanced standpoint. So I want to say that in this video I'm going to be looking down a lot because I have written down some notes. I've written down some notes from a paper I found about antinatalism. So I hope you're going to enjoy this video because I'm going to jump right into it. And I'm sorry if my hair is kind of crazy. I'm trying to grow out my bangs again. So first of all, the definition of antinatalism. Antinatalism is the thought that all human beings or all sentient beings should not be born. Christopher Bell saw defines antinatalism as the view that it's better never to have been born and hence the procreation is wrong. Fade L. Brown and Lucas A. Kiefer defined it more simply. Antinatalism is the ethical view that, that it is morally wrong for people to reproduce. The more modern grassroots antinatalists defines birth as wrong, so all birth, both among humans and animals, is wrong. There is no single universal definition of antinatalism so far. We can confirm that in the Japanese academic world, the term antinatalism was introduced in 2013 as having two meanings. First of all, it would have been better if all human beings had never been born. Secondly, we must stop procreating and the human race must die out. Why do antinatalists think procreating is wrong? There are a lot of philosophers throughout time who has defined antinatalism and why they find it to be wrong. But there is not just one moral perception about why procreating is wrong. Some of the arguments about why coming into existence is wrong are Bernard's type. This argument claims that coming into existence is always a harm which is based on the asymmetry of pleasure and pain, that the, that the presence of pain is bad but the absence of pleasure is not bad. Second argument is pain avoidance theory. If people are born they will necessarily experience suffering. If people are not born they will never experience suffering. Therefore, to fundamentally prevent suffering, we should stop all procreation. Another argument is the Russian roulette type. This argues that if human beings con continue to give birth, there will be at least one person whose life will be an unhappy one. Therefore, all births should not be carried out in order to prevent that one unhappy life from emerging. Another argument is non-existence of consent. This is the argument that it is wrong to give birth to a child without the child's consent to be born. So my thoughts on this topic is that anti-natalism forgets to be nuanced. It's all black and white. And personally, I do not like things that are all black and white because life is not all black and white. Everything in life, if you ask me, has nuance. And yes, life is hard, but it also has pressures. It also has a lot of good things. And what can change our life is our outlook on life. I do not think that procreating is right or wrong morally. But I think that we should think about the amount of kids we have because we are too many people on this earth. And I think we should have measures in place that helps 
people who will become bad parents from not becoming parents at all. So these bad parents should not become parents at all if we can prevent it. Because that will lead to a kid suffering under their care. And if you have a bad childhood, that does not mean that your life will be all bad. So, for example, me, I had a bad childhood, but I got away, I got away from the people who was making me unhappy, and that made it so that instead of offing myself, so, yeah, I can't use that word on YouTube, you probably know what I mean. So instead of doing that, I got away from everything that was making me unhappy. So I got away from my parent that was raising me on that point, that was making me unhappy. And I started my own life at around 17 to 18 years old. I got away and that made it so that today I have a really good life. That does not mean that I do not suffer, because we all suffer. All humans feel pain sometimes in their life. But that does not mean that my life is bad. I think what makes life good or bad is also a lot about how you look at your life. So it's a lot about how you think about your life. Can you enjoy the small everyday things in life? Can you turn your thoughts around to being more positive? So a lot of this, and just in general, our outlook in life and our thoughts about our life and ourselves is also what makes our life good and bad. That is our outlook in life and our thoughts about life. So whether your life will be good and bad also depends on you and how you look at life. So again, it isn't just black and white. Procreating is not all bad, but it's not all good either. And I would say it really depends on the situation and the person because whether you have a good or bad life also really depends on how you look at your life. And if you're capable of getting away from the things that are making you unhappy in life, whether that be the circumstances in your life or whether that be people in your life. So it really, it really is about you and how you look at your life. And how you choose to live your life. So a lot of life is how you look at it and if you choose to be happy or not. Actually, your thoughts and your outlook in life is a lot of part if you want to choose to be happy or not. And of course, there are a lot of things that we can change in life and we will all go through suffering in life. But just because we go through suffering does not mean that all our life is all bad. And just because I had a bad childhood and I was raised by parents who should never have been parents, that does not mean that my life is unhappy today. So I just think what I do not like about anti-natalism is how unnuanced it is. Because life is full of nuances, it's full of colors, it's not just black and white. So this is my opinion on anti-natalism. So you can share your thoughts down below about this topic. And I would really recommend that you go take a look of this PDF paper that Masahiro Morioka has made. So he has made the paper that I used in this video. So I've used some of what he has written in his paper in my video. So I really just recommend that you go look at that paper because I really like how it was made, it was really well made. He both shared some history about antinatalism, he shared some of philosophers throughout the times' thoughts on antinatalism, he shared his own thoughts about people's arguments about antinatalism, so it's just really well made and I've only taken a really small portion of this PDF paper, so there's still a lot more to be talked about, so if you're curious about this topic, please go down below and click the link that I have left so you can go read the PDF paper yourself if you're curious. And yeah, as I said, just share your thoughts about antinatalism down below. I hope you enjoyed this video even though the lighting is not all that good because again, we are going into the evening right now. But I just really wanted to film this video because I've just written my notes for this video so just really wanted to film it now so I can really remember what I've just written down so yeah guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did go down below click the link read the rest of the PDF online paper if you want to it was really well made and 
remember to subscribe and leave a like and comment down below if you like me and you like my video and you like this topic just remember to have a friendly tone down below because we are all humans and constructive criticism is great just write it in a friendly way so i hope to see you soon in another video bye guys